Hello YouTube, this is Tyler and it is a good month to be watching this video. Uh, first off, once again, I am here alone. Alex is not <laughs> joining me again. Uh, it's getting really depressing. I mean, he hasn't done <laughs> one of these videos since 2012. So if anyone misses Alex, then he should be back next month. I know I say that every month, but I mean, every month he really should be back the next month. But we keep getting too busy, so hopefully we'll see him soon. Or I guess if you don't miss Alex, then this is probably awesome, but <laughs> anyways, uh, this is a huge month for games, uh, not necessarily a lot of games coming out, but huge titles, that's for sure, so I'm not going to waste any more time, let's get right into this, first game we've got is the new Gears of War game, uh, Judgment, this is pretty much the same situation as Halo went through, they said they were going to stop after three games, and then they did a prequel with Reach, well, I'm pretty sure Gears of War said they were going to stop after three games, too, and now they're back with a prequel. So, uh, anyone who hasn't heard about this yet, it's ass that's essentially what it is. It's got all the characters, like, it's got Coltrane, that, honestly, that's, in my opinion, that's the one that really matters. Marcus and Dom are not the main characters anymore, but people like, I believe, Baird, oh my god, I haven't played this game forever, I think it's Baird. Sorry if I'm having some name issues. But anyway, those kind of guys are returning. I'm not sure who the main... I can't remember who you play as now, like who the lead roles are. I can't quite think of that right now. But anyway, it looks like a really good game. Uh, the Gears of War series is a huge series. Xbox only, obviously. So, Xbox fans, I would definitely recommend this one. This is... Well, this is basically Xbox Picks of the Month for me. And then, next up, we've got my PS3 Pick of the Month. God of War is also coming out with their new game. And once again, it is a prequel. They are releasing God of War Ascension, and it is set, I believe, 10 years before the first God of War game. So it follows Kratos. I read, like, a synopsis of the storyline, or I think they said it was, like, after he killed his mom or something. I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know a lot about the God of War storyline. The only God of War I played was God of War 3, and I didn't actually own that, so I never did end up finishing it. I don't... By the time I got into it, it was already, you know, God of War 3 had been out for a long time by the time I played it, so never really ended up buying it. Uh, I didn't have a PS3 until a while after God of War came out. Anyway, uh, next game is Tomb Raider. Now, obviously this isn't the first Tomb Raider, but they've, that's all, there's no subtitle, it's just Tomb Raider. I've actually heard bad things about this one. Um, not necessarily, I don't know if it's necessarily a bad game, but it just lacks, like, like, it could be a lot of fun, but it lacks, you know, that appeal, that visual appeal, the realism. I don't know, it just doesn't feel as realistic and as smooth when you play it, from from what I've heard, from what I've read. But I don't know. Honestly, the guy that I read, I don't think he was having fun. But everything in, like, reviews and stuff is kind of fact. Good graphics, bad, yes, that's pretty much bad or good that's pretty much a fact but fun is completely an opinion there can be a game that got like four and someone could still find it fun that could be their favorite game so i'm not saying don't get this game i'm just saying if you know you were on the edge it might not be worth it, it might be save your money um definitely not a big pick of the month for me it's kind of a filler of the month i don't know but it could turn out really good it, what i read could have been crazy or i could have a really terrible memory um, Resident Evil 6, I'm only going to touch on this one quickly, it's finally coming out to PC, uh, it came out a while ago, I think October or something, for consoles, so it's finally getting its PC released, it was definitely a controversial game, but once again, I wouldn't say Resident Evil 6 was necessarily a bad game, if it was its own game, but in terms of the series, Resident Evil, yeah, because it just strayed so far off of what a Resident Evil game was, if it was a new series by a different company or something, it could have been a good game, but, I don't know. So, if you're a huge Dire Resident Evil fan, don't necessarily jump on this. You might want to check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I know I probably still will get it, but that's because I play pretty much every type of game. So, it doesn't kill me too bad that it's not like Resident Evil's, but I really did like Resident Evil 5, so I'm pretty choked about that. Uh, keeping on topic with huge games here, Bioshock Infinite. This is a really big deal, too. Uh... For those of you who did not know, this game is not underwater again. It is not set in the same area. I forget. Uh, I can't remember the world. I... Unfortunately, I've only read so much about Bioshock Infinite, and I believe it's set in, like, the sky. 
I'm sorry, I, I actually know surprisingly little about this, even though I'm really excited. I just haven't had a lot of time to read about it. Um, yeah, unfortunately there's not a lot I can tell you about this, but I know it has looked... I've read reviews, and it is getting... Well, like, you know, uh, not reviews, you know, scores and stuff, but I've read, like, uh, editorials, I guess, from people who have played the game before it's come out, like, played it already, and it is getting really praised, but it's also getting praised as what's not expected. Like, a lot of people say, you know, they expected, okay, it's just gonna be Bioshock 1, but not in the water. Well, apparently it's not. It's actually quite a bit different, but apparently it's really well done. So, definitely keep an eye on that one. There's just a lot of games keeping an eye out. Save your money for March, that's for sure. Uh, PC fans, <laughs> I've got my PS3 and my, PC, or and my Xbox pick of the month out there. Here's my PC pick of the month. StarCraft 2, for those of you not heard, is finally getting its first expansion two years, I guess two and a half, three years later. And it is Heart of the Swarm. Um, guessing by the name, I actually just realized I'm not quite sure about this, but I mean, looking at the name, I'm pretty sure this is the Zerg campaign. The core game, The Wings of Liberty, it only shipped with like a camp. Oh my god, I've played this game for Terran campaign. I'm sorry. I haven't played these games forever. I can't remember. I'm not even sure if I got that name right. I apologize if that is wrong, but the humans, let's call it that, the human campaign, and uh, the Zerg's campaign is coming in this, and then there will be a third expansion for the Protoss. So yeah, Heart of the Swarm is coming out in March. That is huge. I mean, I'm sure if you're Korean and watching this video, it's like the biggest deal ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not being racist. Koreans are just ridiculously good at StarCraft. So it's kind of, it's a compliment. It's a compliment. Uh, New Sim City is also coming out. This is just like Tomb Raider. It's just called Sim City. I don't really get why they do, why companies do this. Like I mean, it's a long series, but they, instead of calling it Sim City, whatever, like Sim City Five, I don't know, I don't know which one they're on, but they just called it Sim City again. It is coming out this year though, the March. It's not. I don't know why. Like I don't know what the difference is between it and past Sim Cities. I mean. There's obviously improvements. It's not just a reship of the first Sim City, but uh, it's it's you know this one of those things where there's not really competition. So it, there's nothing really for me to do to sell you on some of this or to push you against it. Basically, if you like Sim City, this is really the choice. There isn't much city building simulation competition out there. You pretty much go with Sims. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. This is a 3DS game. Dark Moon is coming out. And uh, Luigi's Mansion is a famous series by now. It's it's definitely established itself over the year. I still remember Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube I had when I was young. I remember I played that game actually quite a bit, and I really enjoyed it. But you know, Luigi's Mansion is one of those things where it doesn't really, I don't know, doesn't really appeal to me anymore. Mario games are still I love like Mario Kart and the. Uh, different games like that, but Luigi's Mansion's kind of died for me. But I know when I was younger, I loved those games, so I would be kind of out there right now. Those of you that have a 3DS, this is... Well, I think it's the only 3DS game I'm covering this month, honestly. But this is, you know, if you're going out looking for 3DS games, I'd give this one a look. It's... I don't have a problem with it. I don't think, see anything wrong with it. I don't think it's like a killer game, but I really don't think any 3DS has been killer yet. Uh... Castlevania is also coming out with Lord of Shadow, Mirror of Fate. It's kind of like a double subtitle there. I'm not too uh, jumpy about this one, or I don't know if jumpy is right, but excited about this one. I mean, I don't know. To me, Castlevania is just one of those series that's kind of dead to me. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's a they make bad games now. I'm just saying, you know, it's kind of one of those series where it's gone so long by now, I just kind of, it's like, oh, a new game, big deal, it's kind of like when a new Call of Duty comes out, it's like, you know, we all, when a new Call of Duty comes out, it's like, it's not a surprise, everyone knew there was a Call of Duty coming out in November, sometime around Remembrance Day, so it's not one of those, Castlevania is not one of those games I just jump out on, but Castlevania fans, like, it's worth it to buy this every time, so Castlevania fans, I'd say go get it, I mean, if you're not a huge fan of Castlevania, but it looks cool, I'd if you're not too, you know, want to jump on it right now, you might you could just wait for the next one almost and buy some other game that attracts you more. 
But if you got nothing else to buy right now, I'd say jump on it. I don't know. Actually, I'd say for this game, get it, but on sale would be my opinion. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. This wouldn't be a game to jump out and rush and get it for me. I'd say get it when it's cheap. But yeah, I'd I'd say don't miss out on it. I don't know if you like if you're into that. Obviously, don't. <laughs> you can miss out on it if you're just a shooter player. Uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior Two. We covered that in the January releases, and its release date got changed. So basically, I'm just updating it here, and it's coming out this month. It's coming out March now. I still stand by. It looks like a cool game. It looks. Um, it actually looks pretty badass. The slow motion sniper stuff. I, I'm pretty stoked for this game. Like this is just piling on to the March favorites. <laughs> like the whole list of amazing March games. With this competition, I wouldn't say game of the month, but I definitely say something to look at. Next game is Lego City Undercover. This is the first Lego game not published by like Warner Brothers or something. I don't know. It's the first game published by Nintendo. And it, I believe they are also working on a prequel for the 3DS, but this one's for the Wii U. So with, with published by Nintendo, I would say it's pretty certain this is not coming to anything other than 3DS and Wii U. So, I don't know, that's a little upsetting. But I'm not sure, also this game doesn't strike me as one of the bigger Lego games. It doesn't have that wow factor. Okay, well... Uh, Honestly, none of the LEGO games really have a wow factor, but it doesn't look as entertaining to me, whereas le the LEGO games are one of those games where, you know, you can just sit down when you want to play a casual... If you usually play, like, some, I don't know, gaming kind of hardcore or whatever, it's one of those games where you can sit down and have a casual game if you want and just enjoy it instead of worrying about competition, because it's pretty much, like, childproof on beating the game. It's not exactly... It's pretty hard to die. I don't actually think you can die. You just keep draining coins until you hit zero kind of like Sonic, but I think, unlike Sonic, where you run out of coins, I still, I don't think you, like, I still don't think you die, you just don't lose coins anymore. Next up is Naruto Shippuden, again, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, again, not too excited about this one, it's just another one of those series where, you know, it's just, okay, another Naruto game, I mean, we just covered one less than a year ago, I, uh, again, I'm, I wouldn't say rush out and buy this, if you want it, I'd say wait for the sale, but I mean, if you've been waiting, I mean, it's like the sports games, or like Call of Duty, I guess. It's like any yearly game. If you're a fan of that series, you're probably rushing out to get it, because you've been waiting a year just for that game. But if you're not huge on the series, then pff, you never know, you might still be beating the last one. So there's no reason to rush out if you still haven't beat the past one. Uh, this last game, I like. I like how we get to end on a pretty high note here. Um, high note in my opinion, but I'd say probably a pretty controversial opinion, controversial note to end on. Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel, is coming out. I love the Army of Two series. I I definitely don't love playing it alone because the computers are idiots, but I love playing Army of Two with a friend. It's a great co-op game. Uh, I don't know, some of the best times in gaming are co-op games. And, yeah, it's just... I don't know. I really like the customization is the one that gets me the most. Honestly, Army of Two really, like, the gameplay seems like Gear, just exactly like Gears of War to me, almost, with a few differences, like there's the camera shifting in Army of Two uh, 40th Day, stuff like that. But overall, the gameplay is pretty similar to me, but I really like the customization and just, you know, I like games like that where you just upgrade your weapons piece by piece and build a cool loadout, and the more you play, it's like Resident Evil, basically. Uh... But yeah, so I would say this is a big game for me. I know I know the second Army of Two didn't do as well as the first one. Most people like the first one better. So I'm not sure if they're going to keep that downhill slope going or they're going to recover and the third one's going to be the best or something. I know a lot of series tend, including even movies, tend to go first is the best, then second's not very good, but then third recovers. So... Well, hopefully this one does a lot better than 40th Day. I know I'm pretty excited about it, and they'd have to bomb it pretty bad for me to not want to buy it. Because, yeah, I really enjoy the games. But anyway, st stop rambling about that game now. For our February pick of the month now, I am going with... Well, I talked to Alex, and we are both going with Crisis 3. It is... I mean, let's face it, Dead Space 3 kind of shit the bed, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's not the one we're going with. 
I honestly can't come up with much nice to say about Dead Space 3. It was it wasn't scary. It was a, there were tons of money grabs. Honestly, in my opinion, the development company is pretty cool, but EA kind of ruined Dead Space to me. Like, I don't like the new box art, how they tried to go mainstream. I don't like all these microtransaction stuff, and it's just not scary because EA wanted a more, like, to get a bigger audience in. It was all about a bigger audience. They wanted to be able to get younger people and people that are easily more easily scared into the Dead Space series. Well, that just basically isolates actual Dead Space fans from not wanting the game as much. Or I mean, I'm sure a lot of most Dead Space fans probably still bought it, but it's just not that same fear factor. See what I did there? Fear factor. But anyway, so that would have been my other selection, but no. I went with Crisis 3, because Crisis 3 didn't screw it up. Crisis 3, it's actually weird, because, at least I hope I know what I'm talking about here. They're both EA games. I, I probably should double check that. I'm not <laughs> even, I'm not even fully confident they are. I'm 100% sure they're e EA games. Okay, yeah, they're both EA games. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, which is weird because it's EA against EA. One did really good in my opinion. One kind of screwed it up, and the one reason the one screwed up was EA. It's kind of weird how that works out. But I am def. I guess Crisis Three more is a mainstream game, so it's kind of hard for EA to say or to screw it up by making it mainstream. I would say Crisis Three is a really good alternative for people who I don't know are trying to fill the gap in Call of Duty games. It comes out right about halfway between them. Well. I guess not quite, but pretty close to halfway between them, and is a great game, a great first-person shooter. I it came out yesterday. I'm not sure when this will get uploaded, but when I filmed this, it came out yesterday. And yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So, well, I, don't, I said that wrong. I'm not looking forward to it. It just came out. I'm looking forward to getting it. I definitely want to get it one day. Uh, hopefully, actually, pretty soon. So. Uh, that is Pick of February. If you're looking for a game that recently came out, go get Crisis 3 if you're a shooter fan. But anyway, so that is the end of our March releases. Definitely a good month in comparison with past few months. Uh, a lot more games and also a lot more huge hit games. I'd say this is the like the month in the pa in the recent past and near future because there's I, April, honestly, I think. I haven't really looked much into April, but off the top of my head, I can't really think of anything coming out in April. It's kind of just a filler month. Uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, so this is definitely the month to watch out for. Save your money, and you <laughs> just buy these games. Like, honestly, this right now, in my opinion, these games are going to hold out as best month until like GTA, GTA and Killzone come out in September.